Hi there. So I wanted to start by sharing this sheep scale with, with you, which has been shared over social media in the last number of months. Uh, and maybe you identify in particular with one or, or more of these sheep at, at this particular moment. Uh, and so I, I, I teach a class in organic chemistry. Uh, it's a course of about 300 students. And one day I asked them uh, which sheep they most closely identified with. And here's what they said. There was a range, but you can certainly see that, that some sheep uh, were more representative than others. And I have to say that these worried me. It worried me to know that this many students in my course were feeling this way on that particular day. And then we had reading week, a break in the semester meant for rest, recharge. Um, and so when we came back from reading week, I asked the students again how they were doing. And I asked them during reading week, did they work or study, did they play or sleep? And how do they feel now? Exhausted? Rested? And so most of them had worked or studied throughout reading week. Maybe they felt that that was what they needed to do, um, but they came back feeling exhausted. And so here we are working in a pandemic, everybody trying hard, um, but here's where people are right now. And in this pandemic, we're, we're suddenly asking students to learn in a completely new environment. Most professors are, are teaching for the first time in this new way. Most students have never taken a university course online before. Uh, students are reporting that they're, they're feeling more isolated than ever before. They can't connect with their peers. And so it's understandable that they are feeling stressed. They're feeling exhausted. But there's even more to this. I mean, we, if we look at the bigger picture. Students spend years in formal learning environments. We spend our lives learning in formal and informal uh, learning environments. And yet we only spend a fragment of that time helping students, helping people build learning skills. How do we reflect on what we know, what we want to do, what our values are? How do we plan? How do we strategize? Do our actions match our intentions? How can we set goals? How can we value the process? In learners in an academic environment or in any kind of learning, how do we identify what we already know, what skills we're already good at, what we still need to learn or want to learn? How do we strategize accordingly? How do we decide that you know we're not just good at something or bad at something, but rather that if we want to improve, that we can? How do we help students build those learning skills? How might we empower them with those greater skills, skills they can use throughout their lives. So it's lots of ways that yeah, it's done. And typically what we see in university settings are things like tip sheets or workshops that can be attended outside of classes, um, things that can be done on top of what the students are already doing. And we wanted to think about this in a bit of a different way. What we wanted to have instead was something that would be integrated with what the students were already doing. When we met them where, where they already were to work with them on something that they were already themselves working toward. It wasn't going to be something extra or separate, but rather integrated. So my team and I developed a growth and goals module, and I'd like to tell you just a little bit about that. It's integrated in courses. Right now it's, it's available in French and English, and it meets um, accessibility requirements so that different kinds of learners are able to use the module. So it starts out that growth and goals module at the start of a course, start of a semester, where students learn the theories and start doing activities to start reflecting on their, on their own learning, setting some goals, making some plans. And then there's check-ins periodically, um, typically around assessments, and those are aligned with the intended learning outcomes for the course. And so this module is integrated with what the students are already doing in the course. We're also seeing some professors now starting uh, strategy sessions, much like you would do uh, on a sports team, um, strategy sessions that go along with the module. I'd like to share with you how things are going right now as we've piloted this. At this point, we've had over 5,000 students who have used the module at over 10 institutions in Canada and the US. For 80% of those students, it's the first time they've done this kind of thing before, despite all the time they spent in these learning environments. We see 75%, over 75% of students complete the module when it's worth at least 1% of their grade. We get great completion rates. 82% of students believe the module will improve their learning. 
97% are still using or plan to use the modules con concepts in another course. They're carrying these skills forward with them. And we're also seeing that their metacognitive skills improve within a single semester. Initially, they're not very good at judging what they know and what they don't know. By the end of the semester, they're getting far more accurate and they can use that information to strategize the next stages of their learning. So we're wanting to get this module into as many courses and programs as possible. And if you're interested, I invite you to join us through flynnresearchgroup.com slash growth goals. Thanks.